we just talk about a lot of uh, academic research thing. Let's talk about something. Uh, let's talk about easy topic. Uh, I want to know uh, your hobbies and how you, do you spend your weekend. And uh, let's from start from Tingyu. Okay, uh, I think I have many hobbies. Uh, I like practicing yoga in my bedroom, and I also like um, doing some outdoor activities like running, climbing, and skiing. Uh, I also like travel, photography, uh, and uh, video clip. Yeah, and on weekends, uh, first I will have a good sleep. Uh, and I also like to find some interesting places to visit and also find some uh, delicious restaurants uh, that I never come before. Uh, yeah, uh, because for me, uh, as an international student, uh, to come to this newly, uh, totally new country, yeah, I want to explore more local areas. Uh, and on weekends, our labs will also organize some activities like climbing the mountains uh, and also watching some games. Okay. And for me, uh, I think I quite have similar hobbies with Ting Yu, but what I want to further mention is that uh, we always go hiking and go camping together. And I think uh, the culture of going hiking and camping is quite popular in Japan. And I was very impressed by this because uh, I really enjoyed going hiking after I came to Japan. And during the pandemic uh, situation is not so severe. Uh, we always go hiking with my uh, lab mates or uh, our peers. And uh, in this way, we really uh, enhanced our friendship and gain a sense of cooperation. Thank you. I also want to say after I came to Japan, uh, running became my biggest hobby uh, because Japan really has a very uh, good running atmosphere. When you are working around the road, you can see the people running at any age and at, at any time. Yeah. And our club also have, uh, our, uh, our lab also have a running club with our professor. Yeah, <laughs> they will run. 100 kilometers every month. Uh, it's, a, it's really a good opportunity for me to exercise my body. Yeah, I really like it. I actually like envy you to have lab like, activities. But I agree that like after coming to Japan, I also started to run more. And I mean, I like exercising, but the park and the environment, especially in, around Tokorozawa, is very good for like running and exercising. And for me as well, I also like hiking because I think Japan has a very like a very culture who a high culture that focuses on hiking. And so last year I was able to go to climb Fujisang. Yeah. And I think it was a very like a great opportunity. So if you're in Japan you should go. <laughs> yeah. So uh, do you visit Fuji Mountain by yourself or with some other people? Uh, I went with another friend. Oh. So we climbed together overnight to see the sun rise. Wow. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm pretty busy week on the weekdays, but so weekends I usually uh, use my time to catch up a bit with my friends and uh, just to, uh, so we always go exploring for uh, small local places. And it's always fun because uh, we are very limited with the Japanese language. We have a really like basic level, but we always have so much fun. The people are so friendly and we end up really having a lot of fun. But um, as you guys mentioned, uh, I mean, uh, I'm, I am in Japan for six years, three years at, uh, at the studies, but um, actually these six years changed my life a lot. And especially about uh, all uh, healthy habits of exercising, eating healthier, being more uh, careful and uh, more attentive to the environment and to respecting other people as well. And so these are the things that uh, I come from Europe and uh, they're pretty much lacking over there. So I learned a lot from just being here. So it's, it's, a, it's a great life experience. Thank you.
Uh, how about me? Yeah. Um, how about like the language difficulties? Do you, did you have any like uh, difficulties, even though you you guys maybe cannot use that much good Japanese? I think I think for us too, when we came, it might be more difficult for these two <laughs> because they know some of the kanji of Chinese characters. Mm -hmm. But for me personally, I like found it quite hard to understand like, even some like signs. Because as you might all know that Japan is quite limited to English mm -hmm. on like the streets and things like that. But it wasn't that uh, of a big problem for me because I had support and help from my Japanese lab members. Mm -hmm. yeah. But at the same time, Vasuda is offering a lot of uh, courses in Japanese for, ja for the students. So unfortunately, I haven't had time, although I registered a few times, but I had to miss it because of my crazy schedule. But uh, there's always a way to, for us as a student to uh, get along more with the language. And uh, Vasya, I think, is, is providing a very good support of uh, language studies as well. Okay, thank you. Some of my friends said that they come to, they study in Japan because they like the Japanese manga or Japanese animation. They like the culture of Japan. And I wonder, is there some uh, Japanese culture that attract to you? Yes. Uh, I enjoyed watching uh, manga cartoons uh, via a Chinese platform. And uh, I think it's uh, very interesting to see another culture and their uh, daily activities in their senior high school or universities. And uh, some manga uh, uh, are related to sports like uh, slam dunk. So I think uh, the culture of manga is very attractive. Yes. Yes, and tradition, and the temples, and uh, all. Uh, 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 I went, if in Europe, we kind of grow up. Uh, in fact, we grew up uh, with a samurai culture. I mean, I'm a little older than you guys, but so we're not into mangas manga comics, but uh, so for me, every time I, I pass by a temple or some old, very old kind of building or a house, I always think about those uh, uh, samurai, old samurai times, and uh, so this is a pretty, pretty, I mean, it's a pretty nice experience, like just like walking around all those, uh, all those uh, great buildings. I understand, because for me, sometimes just walking on the streets and absorbing the Japanese culture mm. makes me feel kind of at peace. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Definitely. OK, that's the uh, uh, fourth session, and thank you. Thank you for sharing your experience today. And I believe that those who watch these videos have already had a basic understanding of how Western University supports their students in various aspects, not just in the academic research, but also in the aspect like life support. And I hope that all of us can make a good use of this environment to achieve, our, to achieve more successful results in our own study fields. And I also hope that more and more students and researchers can come here and uh, we together make a greater contribution to sports science and even to the whole society. Thank you and thank you everyone. Bye-bye.